Johnny Somali apologizes for controversial South Korean streams as he faces jail time. Oh my god, the rooster has come home to roost the dick! And I'm excited. Let's see what's happening to good old Johnny Somali. Controversial streamer Johnny Somali has apologized to the people of South Korea as he faces 10 years in jail for his antics. Yo, that's a South Korea W if, you, if you're asking me. Johnny Somali is currently unable to leave South Korea as he's being investigated for drug use, a crime that could result in significant jail time given to the country's strict laws. The streamer who caused chaos in Japan and Israel was permanently banned from Kick for his troublesome content after frequently getting in trouble in the, with the law. However, that hasn't stopped him from continuing his way on to streaming platforms such as Venture uh, to South Korea in September. I believe he, he only streams on Rumbo now, if I'm not mistaken. Notably, Somali sparked outrage by kissing and performing inappropriate actions on the Statue of Peace, a monument to victims of sexual slavery. Uh, yeah, that's that's crazy, man. Uh, and not taking his res disrespect lying down, Korean streamers began targeting the American, assaulting him on numerous occasions. Once the police and even South Korean parliament got involved, the streamer faced charges of narcotics use, a crime that comes with a maximum penalty of 10 years in a, in a slammer. He he bought narcotics to South Korea? How did he do that? How did he even get it? On November 7th, uh, sorry, on November 7th, Somali apologized to all the people in South Korea claiming that he didn't mean to hurt their pride. Dude, the fact that this motherfucker has gotten away with this kind of crime for that long. This is a long time coming for him, dude. Like, he fucked around this long and he finally found out. And the reason why he's apologizing isn't because he's actually sincere. He's apologizing is because he fu they They fucking got him. Right? Of course, like, this guy's been farming this kind of content for a long time. Throw his ass in jail and just, just lock him up and throw away the keys. Oh my god, man. I'm a young person. I want to grow as a man. I made a mistake. I think when you make a mistake in life, you need to own up to it. So I apologize. I will no longer talk about your statue or touch it ever again. It's not the statue anymore. It's narcotics, bro. It is narcotics. Put his ass in jail for 10 years. Oh, he's 24, man. Oh, man. Ooh, this will ruin him. I never want to see this asshole ever again, dude. Holy crap. This guy's this guy is a nuisance. Somali went to say that he wants his controversial context to serve as a learning experience for others, adding that a lot of people only learned about the statue because of his streams. No. A lot of Korean people know what that statue is and what it represents. This guy's a fucking idiot. He knows what he's doing. He's apologizing because he fucked around and found out. The monument is meant to be a memorialized victims of sexual slavery by Japanese forces during World War II. Quote, hopefully we can move past this and have a better future, he pleaded. I'm sincere. I mean it for a whole country's pride to be hurt. It's not a big thing for me to say I'm sorry. Good. You apologize? Nine years in prison. And 11 months. You get one month off for your apology. It doesn't... It doesn't free you of the charges of bringing narcotics to South Korea. It does not. Fuck him. Ah, man, I'm rock hard right now just thinking about him getting his asshole railed by buff Korean men. Uh, the streamer attempted to justify why he acted this way, claiming that he came. it came down to cultural differences between comedy in the U.S. This is not comedy, bro! It's not comedy. What he's doing is a f he's being a fucking menace to society. Although Somali said that he was serious about the apology, the streamer has had no trouble lying to authorities in the past when in trouble with the law. After his trial in Japan, Somali admitted to lying in court, claiming he wasn't making any money streaming, and the film was film he was filming documentaries. That. 
is slander. Not slander, but that 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 he's a liar. Throw his ass in jail. I want to see him get analed by buff Korean men in prison. He fucked around for too long. He's about to find out in his asshole. I want to see his asshole. 